Hello, grab a cup of tea. I'm going to talk to you about my eyes. Have you ever had any problems with your eyes, any redness, um, any swelling? Because I had that problem a year ago and I've discovered that I've got a bit of an issue. About a year ago, I started getting really sort of puffy eyes, some sort of redness around the eyes. In particular, it was this left eye. And I at first just put it down to makeup. I thought, oh no, you know, I've got a little bit of an irritation. Um, I threw, well, I threw the makeup that I was using away first and um, I still started getting it. It was sort of slightly bloodshot. Um, it felt slightly irritated. Um, it was always the left eye, which was a bit unusual because I thought if it is the makeup, it should be both eyes. Anyway, it happened three or four times where my eye was getting a little bit red, bloodshot, swollen. It sort of came up as I woke up in the morning. It sort of felt different. It felt a little bit irritated and it generally went away by the following day. Um, I didn't go to the doctors at first. I just thought, oh, you know, it's some random thing. It's some makeup. And also, you know what it's like, well, in the UK, by the time you get a doctor's appointment, you're better anyway. So I thought, mm, be fine. Ended up throwing all my makeup, all my eye makeup away and renewing it. Um, this sort of swelling and sort of redness happened about three or four times, not that often. And there was probably about two or three months in between. I did one day ask the pharmacist, because I had one eye swollen when I was in there, um, and he wasn't really sure what it was. Anyway, it was gone the next day, so I kind of forgot about it. Anyway, recently I went for a scheduled um, eye test at, it was at Specsavers. Not that I'm recommending Specsavers, you know, they just happened to be the one that I went to. And you could pay, I think it was £25 extra to um, get a more deeper, more detailed examination. And I'd mentioned about this eye redness and asked, you know, what he thought it could be. And after he'd done the examination, he told me that I had very mild version of Teridian, I think I'm pronouncing it right, Teridian or surfer's eye. And that means that there's a slight film on my eye that could, if I don't look after it, grow over time. Um, it's not the end of the world. It can, if it gets really bad, be removed. Um, but if you don't do anything about it at all, it can affect your eyesight because it can go right over the pupil which then can affect your vision now at the moment i'll see if i go a little bit closer if this is not a bit weird you can't actually see anything in my eyes that is weird um you can't see anything at all i can't see a film over them um it, he said and i've googled since that it tends to go from the inside across Potentially, sometimes I feel mine would be from the outside because that's where it goes red. And in general, it's, co it's caused by UV, UV damage. Um, there are other, are other reasons that you can get it. So it could be being outside a lot where it's very windy, dusty. It, you can get it from being on the computer too long. Um, you Can I think of some other reasons? No. But I do fit into a lot of the categories in that years ago, I did used to live in Dubai for four years, four and a half years. Also lived in Spain for a year. I was while I was working before I retired on the computer all the time, literally all the time from eight o'clock in the morning when I got to work till, you know, 10 o'clock at night, always on the computer. Obviously, I did have some rest in that, um, but potentially that could have done some damage. Um, I generally do wear glasses and I definitely wore sunglasses in Dubai and when I'm abroad um, and I do wear them in the summer. Anyway, it was quite a relief for me because I was starting to think, oh my God, have I got something really serious? Have I got 
cataracts which I know that that's not the same sort of symptoms have I got some sort of arthritis in my eye am I going to go blind you know all those weird and wonderful crazy things anxiety that goes through your mind when you have something that's potentially wrong so it's a little bit of a relief because even if the worst comes the worst they can do an operation um and most operations are uh, very successful I'm not gonna die from it um, and at the moment it's barely perceptible it just needs to be managed so what I have to do is and I went out to get them straight away he said that I needed to use eye drops twice a day so I got these ones from the chemist which he recommended it did actually cost £15 which is quite a lot so I'm 60 in September and um, in the UK we get free prescriptions I think so or when you're 60 so I really do need to go to the doctors and just confirm that I have got this condition so that I can get it on my medical records maybe get a second opinion just to double check that I'm doing the right things to support her and then hopefully I won't have to be paying £15 for this. Um, I've got two on the go, one's in the fridge, one's not. It's just to remind me to get into the habit of doing it twice a day, one drop twice a day. Um, and literally I just, I won't do it now because I won't be able to see, but I literally just go like that, put it in and put a drop. I've been doing it for several weeks now and it does take a bit of getting used to because it, it just seems to drop down my face you know it doesn't go anywhere near my eye or I'm blinking whatever but hey ho I will get used to it so um that's quite painless if a bit expensive the I've had I've gone through one bottle already which I used in about six weeks I think it was so you know not cheap anyway the other thing I have to do is you wear sunglasses or UV protection while I'm out at all times, which takes a bit of getting used to. Now, I've got the first one. These are the ones, sunglasses I've had before, just in the car. Cheap and cheerful. Um, I think I got them from some somewhere in like New Look. They were just a few quid and I got them last summer. And they're just, you know... They're quite nice, nice little sunglasses. And I think that's absolutely fine. I do wear them a lot. But I'm look, going to look a right blimmin' noggin, or I feel a right noggin wearing these in the winter or days when it's pouring with rain. So I thought, oh, got to think again. So I came up with this solution and I got these on prescription from Specsaver. And I paid, I think it was around 79 pounds um they are a long distance prescription which i don't really need because i've got good long distance but they wouldn't do them otherwise they would only do these glasses make these glasses with a prescription and they're transition glasses with uv protection so i kind of thought better to be walking around with glasses like this on in the winter so it looks like I've got ordinary glasses than people thinking oh look at her trying to be really cool when it's pouring with rain or snowing or whatever it is I know I shouldn't really care what anyone thinks I'm probably no one's looking at me anyway so it doesn't matter um so I but I thought this would be a good solution because they are transition lenses in that they do go darker when the sun's out and lighter when it's not so on the days where it's gloomy and cold it just looks i've got ordinary glasses on they do as i've said have a long distance prescription in which is very very slight i think it's 0.5 or even 0.25 for me but it is weird it i can't quite even though i paid 79 pounds they're just not particularly comfortable which isn't anything to do with the style i think it's having the prescription in because it's fine if i'm looking way out into the long distance but on the whole when i'm walking around i'm looking down i'm looking around middle distance mainly i'm looking at close distance so that's a bit odd now they did 
the optician did give me the choice of having the split lens but I just thought this is getting a little bit ridiculous I only need UV protection I want clear glasses with UV protection ideally I want the transition I think they used to be called reactor light but I think there was a brand name from when I was younger but I wanted the transition so they go darker so and I didn't want the split screen because he's he said, oh, you'll be getting your ordinary reading glasses out when you look at your phone and whatever. But I'm used to that anyway, because normally I would be wearing sunglasses and then I put them in my bag and get, or even just on top of my head and get my reading glasses out if I wanted to look at my phone. So I've got these. I'm not used to them yet. I don't know. What do you think? Anyway. A couple of weeks ago I went to my went with my friends to another optician in a sort of a larger town near to us and she was looking at different glasses and different options and she likes to take her time and I was just sort of browsing and on the counter they had this range or these glasses that were in a range that are over glasses or and they were with sort of ski wear glasses so they're non-prescription and they UV, they are that colour all the time, they don't change, but they fit beautifully and they've got the protection from the top because and the side so the sun doesn't come in over the glasses or at the side because ideally I should be wearing these glasses, these ones, and I should be wearing a big floppy hat or a cap. Well, I'm not going to do that in the British winter, am I? Well, not unless it gets really bad and I'm desperate. Not at the moment. Whereas this solves that problem. Because as you can see, it's got the bits at the side. And it's got a really, they had different colours. They had a purple one, which was nice. Um, it's got, this one's got a really lovely golden light. It puts a light, lovely rosy glow on the world. And I know that they are over the top and I know that they look a bit like I've got goggles on. But in a way I like that because it's almost an indication that, not that, oh look at her. Again, I'm trying to second guess what people think and I know it doesn't really matter. It's just about me and my health and well-being. But if anyone's going to look at me, they're not going to think, oh, look at her trying to be cool. They're going to look at me and think, God, I wonder why she's got them up. This is what I'm hoping. I wonder why she's got them up. Maybe she needs them for her eyes, which is the truth. Perhaps I need a little sign. Surfer's eye, that's why I'm wearing gla dark glasses. So anyway, I quite like them. My partner doesn't like them as much. He thinks they're a little bit over the top. I quite like over the top. Anyway, um, I've got these ones. These are fun. I had these anyway. I'm pretty sure these are from Primark. Probably doesn't give much protection, but in the summer, I'm going to wear them. And oh my gosh, everything has now gone green. Hmm, that's weird. But that's fun, isn't it? Those are sort of on the beach at the seaside sort of ones. I'm not going to be wearing them in the winter. And then I got these ones. I was up in Edinburgh so last weekend, went to see my eldest son. And there was, we were having lunch in a cafe and there was a lovely little shop opposite and I could see rows upon rows of glasses. And of course, all I want to do is try on glasses right now. I've got, that's the excuse of surface eye, isn't it? Get to buy nice glasses. And I got these ones. So these are just, you know, sunglasses. I just like them. Again, they're a little bit over the top. I'm enjoying the over the top. I think if I've got to wear them, might as well have oversized and over the top. So I'm quite pleased with that. So hence, I've always got glasses on. Any friends and acquaintances or family members watching this? Well, family members will know. That's why you know. I'm not trying to be cool. I mean, I'd love to be cool. I'm just not a cool person. But 
that's why I've got the glasses on. It's to protect my eye. But what I would say to you is uh, if you've got any issues at all with your eye, it is worth going to the opticians or the doctors because I would have probably left it. I haven't had any swelling or problems for months now, which might be that I'm wearing the glasses all the time. It might be due to using the teardrops. I think that's what they are. Relief from dry eyes, it says. Um, it might be that I no longer wear any eye makeup. <sighs> Saying that, I very, very occasionally put a little bit of a cream eye makeup on now and take it off relatively quickly just because I'm frightened that my eye will swell up or will get dry and I just don't think it's worth it. I don't think it's worth the trouble. You know, it's a small thing not to wear eye makeup. I can do without eye makeup for the sake of the long-term health of my eyes. But I would say to you that if you've got anything, any sort of niggling soreness or dryness, go and get it checked out. I probably wouldn't have done. If it wasn't that I was just going for um, a general optician's checkup, then, you know, I probably wouldn't. And I'm glad I did because, one, it's put my mind at ease. It's not as bad as I thought it was, those fears in my mind. Two, uh, you know, all I've got to do is use those and wear some shades. How hard is that? So, hopefully... It will keep it under control and it won't grow into anything that's a problem. I mean, the optician said that it is very, very mild. So, cross fingers, which way around, um, it should be okay. Anyway, I hope you got something from this video. I hope it helped. Any little niggles you've got, it is worth checking it out to the doctor. Don't, you know, what I said about it being difficult to get to the doctors, yeah, but it's still worth it in the end. It takes those fears away. If you have got something wrong, it can be treated earlier. So, you know, it is worth it. Um, my name's Re, Rianne. Um, welcome to my little corner of the internet. If you're new to this channel, Thank you very much. Please give it a like. Please give it a comment. I started it because I really wanted to connect with different people and go out of my comfort zone. I've taken early retirement recently and I just wanted to do things that are a little bit different and sort of go out of my comfort zone. If you would be willing to subscribe, that would be absolutely fantastic. It costs you nothing. Just press the subscribe button. Uh, it makes a huge difference to me as a small YouTuber. Thank you very much. Hopefully see you again. Bye.